and good morning guys welcome back to another video as you can see we've got the deck over hooked up today to the crew cap obs it's time for that trailer to start earning its keep around here it's just been kind of sitting um, actually it's been at a friend's house for like eight months but that being said this trailer has already paid for itself so that's a good thing so, so at this point if it sits for a little bit no big deal that booger over there she still needs to uh, earn her keep she's a beautiful trailer albeit she's an expensive trailer so we still got a few more jobs before that one has uh, paid for itself a lot of you guys have been asking for content with our good buddy dave and if you guys remember and you hearken way back to when me and dave built the last restaurant we did together immediately after that restaurant dave went to work on this art piece that was going to be in the restaurant and actually while we were building the restaurant he was like kind of practicing some techniques he's going to use and like trying out different ways he's going to build this art piece and well i'm not the artist like dave is dave is dave wears many hats right he's an engineer he's an architect He's an artist and not just by like self-titling, like he's gone to school for each one of these things, has degrees in each one of these things. He's a certified artist according to the state of California, which means he uh, can get contracts to do public art and like public art displays. If you ever go to like, you know, down by the beach and you see this big sculpture, you have to be certified as an artist to be able to erect those. And Dave is one of those artists. Dave has been holed up in an abandoned building, which is actually gonna be the next restaurant that we're gonna build working on this art piece for i don't even know how long at this point five months six months and well it is finally done and we're gonna go help him move it and install it today which is why we've got the trailer um it might fit in the dump trailer but i feel like it's gonna be easier to load and not damage on the deck over so that's why we're taking this trailer albeit she is big we're going into some small neighborhoods um and she's heavy crew cab obs not a big fan of this trailer uh, i think it weighs like 4500 pounds empty which is pretty close to the dump trailer i think the dump trailer is like 42 4300 somewhere around there and this trailer gets really bouncy when it's empty because it's so long and where the axles are whereas that thing just tows like a dream behind the truck but i'm gonna go grab a couple things we're gonna take off so i made a quick pit stop and remember how i was telling you my gray truck does not like towing that trailer and well uh came outside and i was like that looks a little more than uh ac condensation there and sure enough we got uh some coolant pouring out from somewhere i'm not sure where there's still a ton of coolant in the reservoir and it looks like it's following this hose down but that hose runs up to the reservoir and i don't see anything there and it kind of stopped leaking now i'm assuming the truck cooled down the expansion you know maybe there's a little crack in it somewhere that once it cooled down um it closed back up i'm not sure unfortunately though i don't have time to figure this out or look any further we got to go meet up with dave uh, I'm leaving town very early in the morning. So this truck's gonna live here. I'm gonna pull it out in the street. We're gonna disconnect the trailer. Thankfully, uh, the boys over at Genesis Detailing just got the Denali all nice and detailed up this morning. So this thing's looking good. This is just my rock solid truck right here. And well, she's about to become a work truck again today. So again, thankfully there is still coolant in the reservoir. It's not like we're gonna overheat this thing. It's not like it got too hot or anything. Um, I, was, I always watch my temps when I'm towing with this truck just for that reason. And the temps were all good coming up here, so not really sure what's going on let's get this big old behemoth trailer back down flipped around in the cul-de-sac here all right let's get her disconnected real quick watch out for them spiders right there you know normally i'm like on time right i'm rarely early when it comes to stuff like this i'm glad today was a day i left early so we have time to do this but we're still cutting it pretty close glass half full kind of guy It'd be good for the Denali to stretch her legs a little bit today. I mean, we didn't run it for long, but it doesn't look like any more is pouring out here. So let's see if we can get Zach to come look at this bad boy and uh, hopefully figure it out. Gotta say though, I do miss this Denali, man. I wish I did not live on a dirt road and I could daily drive this thing. She is just the perfect truck. Um, and what's funny is somebody asked me the other day on one of my Instagram little Q&A sessions, would I rather have one new nice truck or a bunch of like old project trucks? And it's funny because if you're going to have an old project truck, you got to have multiples because there's always going to be something wrong with them. Um, but to answer that question, if you have enough money to do both, have old project trucks and one new reliable truck, that's the way to do it. Otherwise, I would take just one new reliable truck. Projects just eat up money like crazy. I know, you know, you you can pie them out right you don't have a payment on them you know that's all nice and fine and dandy but when you got to spend a couple hundred bucks all the time fixing these things up just about as costly as owning a new truck sometimes so we'll get back on up here with the gen y hitch now i love these drop hitches but uh you definitely cannot see your ball in them that's for sure so <laughs> so sometimes you end up a little far well i had the ball a little too low there let's raise her up on the gen y now the cool thing about these Gen Ys again is you can adjust it. So if you see where the 
uh, I don't know, whatever end. This end is called on the trailer here. On this trailer, it's about center. On my dump trailer, we had it raised up really high because we needed to get, we needed to get it onto the 450 back from Utah and we didn't have a giant drop hitch. I have two different styles of trailers. Having an adjustable ball definitely helps out. Gotta say though, you know, it is much nicer towing in this truck than it is the uh, OBS. This truck is quiet inside and actually has power. Okay, so that abandoned warehouse or little building right there, that's that's Dave's art studio, which just so happens to be right, uh, basically same block as this restaurant that me and Dave built, the first restaurant we ever did together. Also happens to be right down the street from my personal jeweler, Cecilia's Fine Jewelry, right there, check her out. If you guys need some jewelry, she is the uh, go-to spot. She's got a bunch of inventory and she makes custom stuff. If you guys have seen my work for it ring, the thing is like oof, so sick. All right, now we got to squeeze in this alley. Oh joy, and it's delivery day for something up here. <laughs> oh, okay, well, guess we're not going this way. I hate these neighborhoods around here. Always super crowded, jam packed. Great if you own a restaurant. Not great if you want a park. All right, well, I guess we're gonna join the list of people uh, blocking the alley right now. We'll see how long before that guy gets mad and wants to get out. So you guys probably saw when we walked through this building. Um, again, this is gonna be our next restaurant build. You can see how much, uh... <laughs> all right. I haven't seen Dave in a while either, guys. <laughs> but boy, why do you look more homeless? Why do you look more homeless every time I see you? More homeless. I don't know if it's the beanie or what. The beanie on like 75 degree weather, I think is what's making you look That's worse. a little chilly, man. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not talking to the fucking see you, man. Yeah, man. I like what you've done with the place. Keep it from that falling over. Keeps it from falling down. Nice, keeps dude. Falling down. <laughs> We're practicing our uh, jujitsu here, too? Well, not here. I just got done practicing. Oh, okay. Is this is how you keep the uh, guys from breaking in. You show them your belt. Or blue belt, black stripe, or was that one well, stripe? There's really two stripes there, man. Okay. All right, guys. Well, this this nice homeless guy said I could just park on the street instead because that's a better way to uh, get into his shack over here. Make up, 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 make up. All right, just get in, dog. Just get in. I mean, if we're gonna do it, we do it in style. I mean, I said like he said, which which trailer should I bring? I said whichever one's funner. Dog, don't get hit, man. It's a real homeless problem around here getting hit by cars. I mean, you know, when you got nothing, I mean, sometimes getting hit by a car is the best thing you could do. You know, you get, you get three squares and a. Three squares and some stitches. Yeah. All right, there you go. Well, dog, I'm, I'm kind of excited, man. I have not seen this art project uh, really since it was uh, some ABS or PVC pipe and like a, some foam. Like a glimmer in our eyes, you know? Like a twinkle, like a twinkle yeah, in yeah. our eyes. Yeah, your you eye, know? your eye. Now, one thing, you know, Dave always has these crazy ideas, right? And most people by now, if you know Dave, you know, you just, just go with it. Like, it's gonna work out, just go with it. If you don't know Dave, you're like, that's stupid. <laughs> Wait a minute, you're gonna take some PVC pipe and some plum like pipe insulation and you're gonna make this sculpture we're gonna find out because i have not seen it you're not gonna believe this man but uh. some people have uh in the past accused me of being ditzy <laughs> you can see that right then a little bit you know <laughs> I mean, one thing I gave of the academic. Team, I was gonna say founder I gave, of the chess club. <laughs> I gave lead. I gave all your accolades when I started this video back at the house. <laughs> athlete was not one of them. However, math, mathlete, 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 yeah, mathlete, but yeah, that was one. Athlete was not, but he kick your butt in jujitsu now. So we're just like he's just you know. collecting all the titles is what Dave's doing. I mean, I'm not saying I could kick your butt in jujitsu, but. Yeah, I mean, I saw only two stripes on that blue belt. So. Hold on, first of all, I see Dave on a shirt here. I'm not even looking that way yet. We got beware of Dave. Jeez, guy. Yeah. Lots changed, huh? Well, my sister wife got me. Gets me <laughs> okay. cute little things like that and this beanie. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap, dog. This place has yeah. changed, huh? Yeah, this is a little, little different than the last time you were here. You Jeez, know? look at these things. Yeah, man. Holy moly. So I would say, uh, you know, when we started this project, what we wanted to do was, uh, we didn't want our thing to look like a computer generated thing. Okay? Right, we right. We wanted it to look kind of handcrafted. My real wife. <laughs> has a uh, has like a ceramic mug problem okay you know so we're, we get these mugs like all of the time we kind of wanted these like ceramic look 
to said pipe thing. I do see that. I do see that. So one of the things when this idea was proposed, uh, I was like, Dave, just draw it up on the computer and send it to have somebody mandrel bend it on a CNC bender. We powder coat them and we're done. And Dave almost spit on me that day. I think he might have. That's not true. He wanted to. True. He wanted to. He That's says, I will be damned if this looks like every piece of art you see at an airport. Airport art. Airport art is his code word for that looks like it was drawn up on a computer slapped together. Now I will say, so what we did instead was we had, uh, we had a bunch of kids from Jiu Jitsu and some of the adults too. And Rhino, flame torch the PVC. You know, I think about Rhino all the time when I'm making stuff, you know? <laughs> And uh, <laughs> life size. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and I was thinking, you know, as I was carrying around the uh, the PVC, thinking, you know, I should have made the base out of that steel and then done everything else that we did to get it to be. <laughs> now, mind you, you come in here and you look at all these squigglies, and you're probably like, well, there, you know, Dave just zenned out with some clay and made some squigglies, but. Dave actually does bring computers into this type of work and he actually had like a ginormous schematic of that printed out on these platforms that he built and he bent them all to where they actually are like as identical as you can get while still being organic. I would say like what you're looking at is some black belt carpentry. I mean, not uh, whether it's worth it or not, who knows? I don't really care. I mean, I had the greatest six months of my life <laughs> in the last six months. So yeah. here's the thing about when I first met Dave, because Dave's always been an artist, right? But Dave used to be an artist for like free. <laughs> or it would cost him money. He would be like, yeah, they gave me this budget, but I blew over it by like three grand because it, I, want, I had a cooler idea. Now Dave is an artist and makes money. Right? I mean, he's trying. You know? he's trying. So he's trying. six months of his time, you're looking at these things and being like, that's why this guy is homeless. No, 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 no. <laughs> Six months of his time, and he just chooses to look like this, but financially doing all right. I, I, think, that's a, yeah. I think that's a fair statement. Sure. What do we go for? The, uh, what, are the, what are those almond egg, little Jordan almonds? Jordan almonds, you know those? I mean, I, I, I know like the candy coated. Yeah, that's what it is. Like, yeah, I'm getting Jordan almond vibes here. This is the one that really matters, okay? Okay. So that piece of plywood right there. Yep. Is a distance from here. Here. Okay. Okay. Which is as wide as it gets. Right? Gotcha. So as we carry them to this space, like that's the sort of tolerance that we're dealing with. <laughs> Good. Okay. Yeah, that'll be fun. Watch that door. All right. We're looking good. We're looking good. Hold on. Hold on. Good. Oh, don't stand it up yet. Don't, hold on, hold on. Keep going, keep going, keep going. All right. Magnifico. All right, let's just take her on up. And then you can go all the way on those ramps if you want. Okay. All righty. Look at that. We got two loaded up here. We're going to do them two at a time. Uh, again, it's kind of the. I'm glad I brought the bigger trailer. Dude, this is beautiful. Yeah. I mean, it could not be better. We also, uh, Dave's long lost son. <laughs> Apparently, I, I missed the memo on the outfits today. All right. Dave was wearing a black shirt a second ago. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, take your shirt off, right? Jesus. <laughs> First load of the Jordan almonds are loaded up here. Uh, getting some, some wedges in there so they don't bounce around. Luckily, we don't have very far to go, but pretty solid here. The old frames that Dave made. The one thing I like about working with Dave is it thinks ahead, right? You're not showing up and then now trying to figure out how these things are not gonna break on the trailer. He already did that. You say that, but we're about to go, the hardest part is gonna be getting them in the front door. Like this one right here is the bigger of the two, like they're both different sizes. So if we can figure out how to get this one in the door, then, and, and we will. Yeah, then, right. then victory is imminent. Dave, it's Dave. Oh, hey Dave. What are you doing over here? Oh, nice! Nice! So, quick jaunt down the street here. We made it to the other restaurant, and uh, I'm kind of staying off the curb a little bit here so we can unload this one. Uh, somebody's parked in the loading zone, otherwise we'd be able to pull straight up, straight in. But with all of this stuff in the way and how big these are, it's better that we can just slide it over. Unfortunately, didn't bring any cones with us, but I did happen to find somebody had, uh, you know, 
broken one of these off, so they're, they're, that's our cone for the day. And then I don't have my remote for my trailer, otherwise we could throw the trailer strobes on, uh, which is why on the dump trailer I opted to have buttons in the actual toolbox on the trailer itself as well. That way, uh, if you don't have the remote, you can still turn your strobes on your trailer, but let's just hope, you know, this goes well. Hey, what's this place gonna be? <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, own a ladder company. Dave's reiterating everything we hear every day when we're uh, working on these places. Okay, well you guys probably remember this restaurant if you've been following along anything that we have done. Uh, spent a good, how long have we spent here? A couple months? Four. Four months? Okay, yeah, four months in this one. Um, this is where the sculpture's going. This was always kind of the plan. Again, Dave has kind of come ahead here and well, showing off his dance moves that he's been working on. He'll keep working on those, don't worry guys, don't worry. But everything is pre-drilled into this quartz. That's where the sculpture is going to sit. It's gonna be basically like a room divider slash an area to take pictures in front of and you know, tag on Instagram. Yes, sir. It's also pre-drilled up here. Oh, there's one there. It's only like a, it's only like three inch of an inch thick, but you'll see one, two. Piece number one. Signage. We're gonna have to kind of, yeah, yeah. We got the, we got the strongest one on the bottom there. I mean, are we allowed to be like firefighters and break their windows? No. Oh. All right. We could be like firefighters in lots of other ways around. Okay. Watch that pot right there. What are you thinking, Dave? Ain't gonna fit. Start over. <laughs> nice dog. Nice. I like the angle right there. It slides in easier. You can lean it more. There we go. Looking good, boys. Looking good. All right. Hold on. Corey's repositioning. I'm good. All right. Hold on. Come up a little bit. Yep. All right. We're good. Come down. Corey, come to me a little bit so we don't rub that edge over there. I'm clear on this side. Come back up. All right, dog, we're in. We did it. We might be able to just slide it to Corey a little bit. Okay. And then, we'll, all right, come on up. Easy. Looking good, boys, looking good. Looking good. All right, Dave's looking good. You can keep coming. Look at that, Dave. Hi, I'm Dave. <laughs> you might know me from Rhino D-Max, is what I like to call D-Max Rhino. And I'm here to say, Rhino. Yes, Dave. You're acting like your father. Is it because I turned your music down? That's because you turned it down. <laughs> all right, guys, well, first one is in. We're pour rolling off uh, Dave's stretcher here, which basically kept this thing all nice and supported. And you can see where we got threaded rod and- Very supportive. You don't hit that white box. There you go. <laughs> got our uh, stretcher trimmed down here. Now we get to get her in the door again. Wanna do the same thing we did last time? Oh, God. Right. Looking good, boys. Looking good. Hold on. All right. So after some finagling, we've got piece number two, which sits inside of piece number one. We're now going around and uh, putting all the connectors on. Look at that. Oh, great work, Dave. Great work. Dave's happy. It's working. <laughs> I am happy. <laughs> I'm mostly happy that it fit through the door. That was a little, a little touch uh, together. One thing about Dave is Dave is a guy that can build things in like three different states and somehow it all fits together perfectly just about every time. I can build something right next to it and it fits the 14 like test tries and then we go to put it in the last time it's like an inch too short. And I'm kind of having a good time, you know? It's good to see you, Ryan. Yeah, you too, Glad buddy. Now that those two pieces are on, let's go get the remaining two. We've got our third one on. We're gonna go grab the fourth one out of there. Truck just looking absolutely beautiful. We got sunset right there with a the beautiful Denali. I love this truck so much. I'm here for you, Dave. You are here for me. Hold on, hold on, come down a little bit. All right. Pistachio ice cream. Nice turn. <laughs> Let me get up here. Perfect timing. I got it. Car, get out of there. <laughs> Okay, loaded up for round two. Let's go get it. Starting to get a little bit late here. Rhino has to, uh, <laughs> I gotta leave early in the morning for NorCal. The sooner we get done, the better. Ooh, it is dark. And GoPros just suck at night, so sorry about that. Boy, Rhino. Now I'm ready. Coming up, coming up. 
Watch that bottom side. Come down, come down, come down. There we are. We're in, boys. We're in. We did it. Down to the floor. Corey, what are you doing right now, buddy? What, what is going on now? Crisscross applesauce. Okay, great. All right. So <laughs> apparently, this stretcher, we need to transfer to this stretcher now to be able to put that in place. You got the basic idea there. Right? All right, perfect. Perfect. Ready when you guys are. I'm gonna scooch it in as close as we can get it. Yeah. Okay, and then scooch we scooch. If, if I could get if I could get uh, somebody to be able to lift that lower board, that'd be killer. You know? Yeah. Ready? Oh yes. Ready? Scooching. Yep, I'm ready. Two, one. We're on the shield. We're on the shield. Oh. Yeah, go, go your way. Oh, yeah, right here. Yeah. This one's in. That looks pretty good. We're within spec here, David. Mm -hmm. How are you looking over there? That one looks good. Like super nips. But super nips? Super nips. My hair salon, super nips. Okay, yeah, yeah. Whatever works, Dave. Super nips. <laughs> super nips. <laughs> All right, there we go. Yep. Where's my mm -hmm. hammer? Sorry, it's right here. Door, right? No, I moved it somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> just keep changing the poses, buddy. I got you. We're just going to keep rolling with the pictures. There you go. There you go. Oh, yeah. Oh, hey. Uh. All righty, guys. Well, we are wrapped up. Dave got his art piece in. Super stoked. Got his photo shoot. Um, and now we just got to unload this last little bit of wood, and we are done for the night, and I can get ready to go on my long drive to Northern California. Dave went to go grab some food. So with that, we're going to wrap up. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're not subscribed, please click the subscribe button now that you do not miss out on any future content. Don't forget to give this video a like. You get a thumbs up. Don't forget to check out workfortapparel.com because if there's anything you want in this life, you got to be willing to work for it. You guys are the best. I'm out. Damn. Uh-huh.